Hey, what's up guys? From guy one here, and I wanted to make a different kind of video today just because this DLC that just came out for this game is insanely fun, and I really just wanted to make a quick video of just having some fun with it, enjoying it, so this is Bus Simulator 21. Now, I played the first bus sim a lot, I really liked it, but I did always kind of imagine what would happen if a game like this had a school bus in it, and they just recently released a school bus DLC where there's three Bluebird model school buses in this game, now it's not just simply you're driving a school bus in this game and making bus stops and all that. This thing is quite literally a fully detailed and uh, operating school bus. Like you hit a button here, the yellow lights come on, and then once you open the door, the red lights come on. And it's just, it's an insane DLC. And I'm just, I've been having so much fun with this. Like even when you're busy for a day and you get home, there's something so relaxing about coming on here and just driving a school bus around this town. So if you come inside the bus here, um, I don't use any of these buttons here, but you can actually operate everything within this little dash here. So like, that button turns on the red lights, so you can see the stop sign out there, in, uh, out in the window. Uh, yellow lights can click on right there with that button. And there's also, I think that's the, what, the door button? I don't even know what that did actually, but hey, there's so many buttons. Oh, the crossing arm, yeah. And I think this one is the door button. Then also you can see in the top right, you can see the angle of the kids getting on the bus, but yeah, I'm a little bit behind right now because I'm showing you the bus before we get, head out here, but uh, yeah, also going to explain something cool about uh, just me growing up with school buses and all that, so we're going to turn the main lights off. Alright, I'm going to stay first person. I think I'll show you the first stop uh, out in third person just so you can see it. Alright, got to get these kids to school. I'm doing the morning route currently and... The cool thing is, you can actually set up your bus to where you can do morning or afternoon routes, so you can go pick up the kids in the morning and take them to school, or you can go to school and then take them home. Yeah, I made this route. It's pretty casual, but it's enough for me. And again, I am on control. I don't have any of the fancy wheel setups or anything. And I must say, one of my favorite YouTubers out there, Jeff Faviano, he has like a Thrustmaster wheel, and then he has a, his own board of buttons where it feels like he's actually sitting inside of a real bus and all that, but it's the way he has it set up, it was actually really fun uh, watching him do that. Now you're going to see a thing, it says um, use the amber lights when approaching, like I do all of that, except you have to do them in a specific order, and then you have to do them uh, right as you get to the stop. I don't do it that way. It still counts, well technically it does, but I guess the game doesn't like it when you do that. Alright, I'm going to go third person here. And again, you, you get an extra point if you use the signal when you come out of a bus stop. I know that school buses don't normally do that. But this next bus stop, I will show you the outside view so you can actually see how cool the lights look when using them. Engine sounds okay. It doesn't really sound the greatest, but then again, I really don't know what modern school buses sound like. Now, I wish we could have some of the classics, like the, uh, the International 3800. I would actually love to pilot that bus around this town. And also, this town looks kind of a little... Oh god, someone's listening to loud music. I will handle that at the next stop. Ignored passenger... Okay, you want me to get off while... You want me to stand up while the bus is moving and just go back and yank their headphones off? Sure, I'll do that next time, game. But, um... Yeah, I would love to see some of the classic school buses in this game if they could get the licensing for it. As we come to the stop, you can hit down D-pad to turn on your ambers. Then we come to a stop within the marker here, and then as soon as you hit the door button square opens the door, stoplight comes out, it does, it does it all automatically. I just, I love this. This DLC was very properly made. I will give full credit to the company that made this. Again, the stop sign stops cars both ways. Now, the AI in this game is a little stupid. As you can see, the car behind me was getting ready to pass me on that yellow, so, <laughs> whenever there, make sure all the kids are sitting. Then we close the door, stop sign goes in, make sure we signal on the way out of the stop. Now, I'll just, I'll say this. Uh, people out there are gonna think, what's so fascinating about a school bus? Here's the thing. When I grew up, for some reason, I was fascinating. I was just fascinated with school buses. I don't know what it was, but me and my friend, I think his name's Brandon, still friends with him to this day. We would have recess up in like second to sixth grade in that neighborhood, and whenever we went out to the playground, uh, we would we wouldn't play basketball. We wouldn't play any of the traditional games that all the kids played. We literally played a game that we called buses. Now picture this, we are little kids walking around a playground, and what we did was, we would make engine noises, like a bus would make, like the like grungy truck noise, and then we would pick a place in the playground that was uh, the school, and then while walking around we would actually stop, 
put our left arm out to simulate the stop sign going out, and then we would pick up all of our kids, and then we would take them over to the uh, school and drop them off. It's just, it's something we played almost every day. Like, every day we would get through lunch. If we didn't have to stay in for recess because we didn't do our homework, we would actually go out there and just play buses almost every single day. And I, I don't know, man. It's just, it's really relaxing just driving a school bus around. That AI is wanting to die. Yeah, I just, this DLC I've been playing a lot whenever I have some uh, free time, which I don't have much right now because of the NASCAR league that I'm running, but again, you just switch the ambers on, uh, it's down D-pad, and then you get to the stop, square opens the door, the stop sign comes out automatically, then you can see everything within the cockpit here, and actually I want to open that window because if you open this window, it actually lets the engine noise come in a little more when you're driving. Make sure all the kids are sitting. And yeah, I just, I really recommend this to, for lack of a better term, any school bus enthusiast out there. If I could drive one of these big behemoths in real life, trust me, I would. I get so much enjoyment out of just driving a school bus on this video game. And again, everything functions on here. Every button actually works the way it should. Now don't mind, uh, in the bottom there, you see I'm a minute behind schedule. That's why I was, that's because I was just sitting back at the depot. Uh, showing the bus off a little bit. Yeah, like I said, you can do morning and afternoon routes, and you can. Yeah, sure. It's really fast. So, um, yeah, you can actually buy multiple school buses, um, assign AI drivers to do school routes for you, and yeah, it's just it's outrageously fun. Now, this game, I don't know what this map is based off of. It doesn't look very American, if you ask me. I kind of wish there was just some solid yellow lines and more American-looking streets. Like, I kind of wish they would just abandon bus simulator and make a school bus simulator. I never need any city buses. Just give me school buses. Oh, a payday? Looks like... Oh, yeah, we just leveled up to level 32. Amber lights enabled while driving. Okay. 108,000 for that. Again, man, these AIs just love to try to pass you. And again, uh, this is the only long nose bus on the front of it where the engine is. Then they have two flat nose buses. I've always loved the long nose ones. Flat nose ones are okay, and they're, I guess, a little easier to hit some turns, maybe, but this is my kind of bus, so I always just stick with this one. And again, I mentioned uh, Jeff Faviano earlier. Just a huge shout out to him because. Back when this DLC was announced, I wasn't believing how good it... Oh god, oh god, bus is moving. Terribly sorry, kids. <laughs> but yeah, um, before this DLC officially came out, I think Jeff got an early version of it, and he made a video using the DLC, and I was questioning how much or how many of the things on the buses would actually work. Like, would the uh, amber lights work? Would you be able to use the stop sign and all that stuff? And whenever he made his video showing that every possible feature on the school bus works... Oh, that was it for me. I knew I was getting this DLC. Trying to see in the mirror, because there's traffic that loves to come up this left lane and just bolt and try to kill you. I think this is the last stop coming up, and then we should be making our way to the school. My mom said I can't eat a chocolate Santa Claus in October. But why? He doesn't know what month it is. I mean, I wouldn't eat a chocolate Santa Claus in October, because that stuff's probably out of date, because there's no way they're selling them in October. Alright, all the kids are on, and yep, we're going to get to the school here, and I'm going to shut this video off when we get to the school again. Just wanted to show how awesome uh, this school bus is. And no, I did not look right, I'm just trusting if there's no traffic coming. <laughs> Yeah, I highly recommend anybody who loves buses or especially school buses to give this DLC a try. And again, me and my one friend uh, down east, we actually played this online about a week ago. I live streamed one of my routes. Now, live streaming just caused my internet to do the woo, and then the bus kind of hopped all over the place. But this is in a single player game where it does not rely on connection, so that's why it looks a little bit better. Right down there is the school. That bell, I always assumed that bell was the school, but I think it's actually one of those churches over there. 
And yeah, these AIs love to cross the road right when vehicles are coming. Even that car is like, hey, get out of the bleeping way. Alright, here's the school. We'll flip our ambers on and drop these kiddos off to go learn. See, all of these kids get off this bus. There are so many. Goodbye. See you later. Have a good day at school. And yeah, that in a nutshell is the School Bus DLC. Again, it's really fun. It's just, it's relaxing. That's the best word I can use to describe this. It's just a relaxing, uh, just a side quest to do on this game. And again, I've always appreciated my bus drivers. In fact, the bus driver that I most recently had in my new high school, uh, whenever my friends weren't on the bus for the school day, I literally just sat up front and actually uh, just talked with them during the ride and all that. It was fun. Yeah, this is the School Bus DLC for Bus Simulator 21. Highly recommend. And again, I'm not going to be posting many videos like this because it's it will get very repetitive. As you see, the AIs on this game, they love to abide by traffic rules. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope if you end up getting this game in DLC, you enjoy it as much as I do. And please, don't run over people in the crosswalks as I've done that many times and they will find you a hefty sum. But alright, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked what you saw and if you want to see more content and switch that notification bell on to get notified every single time we upload a brand new video. And also check the description to get links to all sorts of stuff including our NASCAR playlist and playlists to funny moments across many other video games. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you on the next one.